welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys another video and this is going to be a tutorial on this look that I'm wearing right here and yeah, I guess I am feeling like in a very grungy mood because this is my second grunge look in like, I don't know, a couple days. <laughs> I don't know, I just, I've been feeling grungy. I feel this is definitely grungy. It's like super smoked out purples. The bottom lash line is like super dark and obviously I'm wearing a black lipstick. I mean, I'm all about this. I love black lips, by the way, fun fact of the day, I think you guys know that already, but I don't really do videos with black lips, just because I know that's not everybody's thing, but you guys can always, of course, switch out the black lip for a nude lip or a pink lip or whatever kind of lip floats your boat. If you want to do an orange lip, a bright purple lip with a purple eye, whatever you want to do. Do it, girl. I really like the way that this look came out. It's kind of like a spotlight smoky eye, and I like it. So, if you guys don't know how I got this look, then please just keep on watching. So, surprise, surprise, we're going to start off by priming our face. I'm going to first take my Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Primer, and I'm going to take this all over my face just to kind of moisturize and prep it a little bit. Then I'm going to go in my T-Zone with my Maybelline Master Prime, and this is the Blur and Smooth one. And I'm just going to... Put it where my pores are so I can blur and smooth them. I mean, that's what I'm here for. That's what I like. Then I'm going to go in with my disgusting bottle of Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation. And I haven't used this in a while, so I figured I'd whip it out. And I'm just placing this all over my face, dotting it. And then going to go in with a damp beauty blender just to blend it out. You guys see me do this all the time. You've been here before. This is not news to you. Then I did do my brows off camera and I'll link my brow routine down below and I also primed my eyes so now I'm moving on to shadow. I'm taking Dusty Rose by Anastasia Beverly Hills on a MAC 224 brush and I'm just blending this all over the crease. This is going to be our transition shade and I'm just trying to blow it out as much as possible. We don't really want to see this too much in the end. It's just going to help everything blend a little bit more seamless and since we're working with purples this is more ideal than using like a soft brown or something like that. Then I'm going in with Stars and Rockets by MAC and this is just kind of like an iridescent purple shade and I'm taking this with a flat brush just right in the center of the lid. I'm not going to go on the outer corner or the inner corner. We're just focusing this right smack dab in the center of the lid because we are doing a spotlight smoky eye and if we were to go on the outer and inner corners we would just cover it up so it'd be kind of pointless. Now I'm going to go in with Fig One also by MAC. It's just kind of like a deep eggplant kind of shade and I'm taking this with a Sigma E25 brush and just working this on the inner and outer corners just to add some definition. I'm not going to really try to blend it out too much because we are going to do that later. I'm just kind of trying to get the placement just exactly where I want it first. Then once I feel like I've got the placement exactly where I want it, I'm just going to go back in with the MAC 224 brush and just blend everything. We want this to be super blown out and smoked out because, I mean, that's what we want. <laughs> so that's why I'm blending just all over. I'm not really focusing the brush like in the crease or on the lid. I'm just going all over the eye so it is just super, super blown out and we really don't want any harsh lines in this look. Then I'm going to go in with Deep Damson, also by MAC, and it has a little bit of hard pan. You can see where I like scratched it off, <laughs> but we're just going to move on. And I'm just deepening up the outer and inner corners just a little bit with that E25 again by Sigma. And then once I've got that placement down, I'm just going to blend again. This look is just like so focused around blending. You need to blend for days and days, maybe weeks, maybe months. Just blend as much as humanly possible. If you're hungry, it don't matter. Don't eat, just blend. Then for the last shadow on the lid, I'm taking Digit by MAC, which is just a really 
pale blue tone lavender shade and I'm taking it right on top of Stars and Rockets just to give it um, a more pop of color because Stars and Rockets could kind of blend a little bit more so since Digit is a little bit brighter I just wanted to pop that in the center and make sure that the center was as bright as possible then I'm going in with Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara as per usual just coating my top lashes with some mascara then once I do that I'm gonna move on to my concealer I'm going to use my Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer in the color SX05, which you will see is ridiculously light, and a lot of people probably are like, whoa. But I just really love the color of this because it really just brightens up the face exactly how I want it to. So I'm just taking this on a Morphe brush and placing it all over where I would highlight, and then I'm going to blend it out with that same damp beauty blender that I used for my foundation. Then to set all of my highlighted areas, I'm going in with my Ben Nye Banana Powder. This is like a humongous 8 ounce jug that I will probably never get through. And I'm taking it on a Real Techniques blending sponge. And I just place a whole lot of powder on my face. And then I'll take the other side of the sponge and just kind of like tap it away if that makes any sense. I love this technique. It definitely just makes everything set so well. Then I'm going to go ahead and put on my lashes. These are the 747Ls by Red Cherry. I didn't want anything that was going to be too overpowering because, I mean, usually I like a pretty strong lash. But today I just wanted to keep it kind of simple and just blah. So that's why I went with these. I mean, they definitely give the look a little bit of flair, but they're not too over the top, which is exactly what I wanted. Then I'm going to go ahead and move on to my lower lash line. I'm going to line my waterline with my Marc Jacobs highlighter in the color Blacker. You guys know this is my favorite. Like, I mean, this is a pretty big part of the look because smoking out the lower lash line, I think, definitely gives it more of a grungy feel. Then I'm going back in with Fig One by MAC, and I'm just going to smudge that out with a... Sigma E15, I believe, is this brush. <laughs> now I'm taking Anastasia's Dusty Rose again, and I'm taking it on a pencil brush. I believe it's an E30 by Sigma, and I'm just going to smudge that out even further, like I said, smoking out the lower lash line is a huge huge part of this look it just kind of pulls everything together because it's so smoky up top and having such a dark lower lash line i think it just it's just perfect so then i'm gonna go in with some Too faced better than sex mascara and just coat my lower lashes really quickly and these are gonna be the finished eyes super super blown out and smoked out you can't really tell where anything starts or ends and that's what i like about it so now moving on to the face, I'm going to contour using Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Powder in Earth. You guys know I'm having a love affair with this. I mean, it's my favorite. I just can't stop using it. I think the color is just so ideal and perfect for my skin tone. So I'm using this on my NARS Eda brush. Then I'm going in with Copper Brown by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I usually don't use this shade because it's super warm. But today I'm going to use it because it's super warm. <laughs> and I'm just going to place it on the sides of my forehead and a little bit on the top of my forehead. Just because I feel like it makes me look super sun-kissed. Then for my blush, I'm using another contour powder by Anastasia. This is Sandstone. And it's such a beautiful blush shade. I love this as a blush. When I first got this, I used it non-stop as a blush. And now I'm just remembering why. It's just, it's so gorgeous. It's like a subtle everyday blush, which is definitely what you want to use for such a grungy look. And I just love it so much. So I'm using this with my MAC... 168 brush i believe is the name of that brush then i'm going in with another anastasia powder this is the color camel and i'm using this to contour my nose very slightly i have to use something super light because well everyone should use something a little bit lighter because a harsh nose contour is never a good look ever for anybody i don't care who you are so then once i've got my nose contour done i'm gonna go into another anastasia powder i guess this was the day of anastasia powders and this is champagne and it's just a highlighting powder it's not super intense it's definitely a little bit more on the subtle side and my favorite song just came on and i mean i can't even control myself when stuff like this happens <laughs> 
And anyways, so and then I'm going to deepen up my contour using Carib, also by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the deepest color that they sell. So I'm just going right underneath my contour and I just really like doing this. I know it's not for everybody. I know not everybody likes um, such a strong contour, but I really like it. So, I mean, that's what I do. Now for the star of the show, I'm going in with my black lipstick. This is the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the color Weirdo. It's just a matte black liquid lipstick. Whatever black lipstick you have will work just fine. And once you do that, then this look is complete. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this look is not for everybody, but I mean, it's good for one of those days where you want to be super grungy, right? So thanks again for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! A mí me excita cada parte de tu cuerpo. Quiero sentir esta pasión a fuego lento. Hola, bebé, ya que contigo no sirve la labia. Mami, ¿qué me estás haciendo? Yo no te estoy mintiendo. No hay un detalle que a mí se me escape de tu cuerpo. Y cuando te pones a hablar, mi mente está imaginando en el momento y lugar. Y que no me pueda aguantar las ganas que tengo de ti. Pero me dieron que tú también piensas en mí. Tú la pierdes por mí. Te deseo. Me desea Yo quiero amanecer contigo Verla contigo Me rompiste el corazón Me hiciste infiel She knows 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 She